What's up, YouTubers? Today, we're going to talk about the Hinderer Half Track, a Rick Hinderer design blade. This particular one is the USA Made Blade um, exclusive Warney Edition. So, of course, it's kind of a, well, not kind of, but it is a Warncliffe with a Kiridashi emphasis in terms of that, that upsweeping of the blade there, if you take a look in the hands. Um, it doesn't have a chisel ground uh, edge, though. It is a normal bevel, as we would expect. So this particular knife uses premium everything, full uh, titanium frame lock, 20 CV steel. There's no skimping on anything on this particular knife, and nor would I expect to. Of course, we'll talk about the next big elephant in the room, which is this is an expensive knife, $425. Is it worth it? You're going to have to wait till the end to hear my opinions on that particular thing. I did weigh it in at 4.2 ounces. That blade is in fact 2.8 uh, inches long, so this should be legal in most areas. Um, comparables, oh boy, this is a tough one <laughs> because I'm really only just going to compare it by blade length. So the uh, Wee Knives Banter as well as the, uh, the Ferrum Forge Prolix would be ones in terms of just size if you need to be in under that 3 inch blade. Um, in terms of use though, they're not even in the same class in, in terms of the hard use and, and some of the build qualities of this particular blade. So I'm really just kind of showing those as sample blades in terms of that, that um, the sizing. Maybe in terms of like a, an everyday use that is also under that 3 inch range. And you can beat up pretty solidly, though I would say with the much thinner blade stock, you cannot beat that blade up as much. Um, but overall, I've dropped this knife, held this one for 7 years and uh, beat it up. And it's done well. This is, in fact, the um, the Spyderco PM3. So the pros of this knife, this is one tough blade. You can see that it is very thick stock. Um, this is not a this is not a little small guy. This is one that truly there's no play at all. You could beat this thing up. If I were to ever drive over a knife and expect it possibly to work, you know maybe this would be in that that range. I'm not suggesting you do that, but uh, this is one that I think is the toughness is unquestioned. Um, I, I just having handled this thing and really tried to wrench on it and, and just, it's amazing. This is definitely tough. USA made blade. The uh, hinder and eyes are extremely modular. You can just buy any, any half track replacement scale for this one and you can change your knife from this particular one is in red um, to whatever color you want. In fact, uh, you know, I, I do have one that I'll be having an upcoming video on the, um, the orange and black scale up ahead there. And that part of it, the modularity is just great. It makes for very expensive Legos, but very fun and uh, nice to do. Of course, this lanyard does, does not come on it. Uh, speaking of the modularity, they do have an HMBS, which is the Hinderer Modular Backspacer System, where you can actually screw it into this these uh, back two. Um, actually, you have to replace these two. But you can put things on there like a glass breaker, or um, in fact, if you want to do a proper, um, land your loop on there. You can do that as well, but in the, in the interest of saving a little money, because that adds, of course, everything nice comes with a price, that adds a lot of money. I went ahead and just tried to tie the lanyard on this back, um, this band back, back, this last backspacer, and it worked just great, actually. It, it didn't rev, ever run into the blade, especially with this particular one. Um, never gets in the path of the deployment, so if you take a look at that, it's never going to not deploy this particular lanyard, and, uh, and it actually added, for, for my purposes, actually, not a bad thing. This particular knife does fit, surprisingly, for a short blade, it actually fits in four medium size um, finger hand. So that was, I was quite surprised with it, but that's also definitely one of the strengths, is the small knife, which fits in with full four fingers, maybe three and a half for people who have a little bit larger hand there, but it does fit. Boy, the ergonomics of every single grip position like this, you know, is fantastic. If you need to do any sort of pull cuts, fantastic as well. Very comfortable. And if you ever have to go into the, oh my God, picking some ice um, position, extremely comfortable as well and, and just super solid lockup. So, boy, this thing is just uh, amazing. As far as fidget friendliness, definitely it's got the fidgetiness. This one comes on bearings, but also has the triway system, which allows you to replace the bearings. Um, with a washer and either phosphor bronze um, washers or Teflon if you want as well. So I'm going to keep the uh, the bearings on this particular one. Fantastic and a lot of fun. So yeah, this this knife, boy, it's a toughie. 
Of course, um, in terms of the cons, I would say the lock bar relief cutout, uh, particularly here, got caught on my pants an awful lot. Uh, I'll try to get that on the camera there. But this thing is, is does not have a, a lot of clearance, and so when this is coming out of your pants, right there, that thing gets caught on your pants quite a lot. And, uh, you know, you just, eventually it's going to wear your pants down. So I think that's a little bit of a problem for me. I think just a little bit more space on that one um, would be a little bit better. So I'd, I'd like that. It does have a funky myriad amount of hardware that you have to do to service this thing. You can see at the pivot you have a regular flat screw. You got your T6s here for your scale um, that you'd also have to take off your pivot screw. You've got your T6s um, for these backspacer screws. Then you also, for your clip, you have your Phillips head. And uh, so that particular thing I didn't like. Oh, and you have to use a spanner or actually just, you know, watch Nick Shabazz's video on, in terms of just making a penny to cutting a penny out to give you a backside protection on that one or, or, or backing out on that one. So, you know, that part of it is, I think, kind of not a great thing. The, the heaviness of it, this is 4.2 ounces for just a 2.8 inch blade. So, you know, you're definitely carrying some weight in your pocket. Um, and it is not the greatest slicer. Um, this particular one, it cuts really well, especially utility with this particular shape. But when you're actually going down into boxes, you know, this is pretty wide and the, the shoulder here does get caught up on cardboard. So not the greatest slicer, but boy, this thing just, it, it does cut. And of course, the last thing is this is very expensive. This is a $425 knife. Overall, I had to ask myself, is, is that is that a stopper? showstopper for this particular knife and what you get you know, the USA made blade and the great warranty and you know the capabilities that it has and I really in the end I had to really think this through and I think it came down to all design for a knife or really anything is is, is going to be a series of trade-offs this is really heavy 4.2 ounces but is this one that I would actually trust to price something with if I needed to you know in a life-saving situation absolutely you know would I on some of those other ones absolutely not so that's the trade-off there is you're, you're doing the weight for that. This one's very comfortable in the hand. Could they have thinned this, this blade stock out to make it a slice? Well, sure they could have, and, and they could have even uh, done that as well to the frame. But again, the trade-off is what I have that super strong. So, you know, the, the trade-offs that, they, that they, they made for this one or Rick Hinder made for this one, I, I fully understand and I get it. Um, going back to the expensive thing, you know, is it worth the expense of that? Well... You know, having this modular uh, system for knives, for, you know, the collector types, or if you just kind of really want to change the look of this, again, you can just bring in a different scale, buy a different scale online. You don't have to buy a whole new knife. A couple screws, a few screws off there, and you can replace that thing. So for my for my money, yeah, it's, it's a hefty price. It is. and uh, But what you're getting also is the tolerances on this. And when I say tolerances, I'm really talking about almost the best I've seen. I mean, I have flipped this thing, beat it up, um, taken out a few screws. I didn't disassemble the entire thing, but this thing is perfectly centered. It's had no problems. There was a little bit of lock stick from the outset, but boy, in the end, was this, is this a grail? Yeah, this is a grail that I have been looking for, or any hinder knife, really, and I'm glad I got this particular one. I normally prefer a knife that's a little bit longer, but this one... If there's a th sub three inch blade that is that kind of fits the bill of if you could only have one knife forever, this actually just might fit it. So those are my thoughts on this. Hopefully you uh, got some use out of this. And uh, if you did, like and subscribe and uh, have a great day for yourselves. Take care now.